Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome yourselves back to another video. So today, <laughs> we're going to be reviewing Drake's new album, okay, why? Dark Lane Demo Tapes. Um, in all seriousness, you know, um, this is interesting because apparently he's supposed to drop like a full length like album album uh, later in the summer as well. So me personally, want to want to see what you guys are thinking about this um, uh, specific subject. But me personally, I'm not going to be reviewing this like as a cohesive album. Like it. I'm not looking for like a story arc in this, you know, like for instance, NF's uh, last one was, you know, him soul searching and the one before was people's perception about him. You know, this, I'm not looking for it to, you know, really make sense. I'm just looking for some good quality music from Drake um, and just kind of getting into it. Joseph and then Luke, what are you guys looking for in this Drake album? Um, shoot. So I have not, I'm going to be honest, I have not listened through like a whole drake album all the way through completely like i've just listened to like 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 the good songs that people recommended so yeah, me, i'm like really yeah. interested just to like kind of hear like how an album goes how it just you know how it fits and stuff and like i totally agree, I agree with you sean like i'm not looking for like a deep meaning in this i'm not looking for like a super like oh my gosh that's like so profound like that's so deep no i'm just kind of looking for like a just a chill hype album maybe a couple like some slow songs. I don't know. We'll just see. I'm just hoping for like just a good, like solid Drake album because every album, you know, like he dropped is is just solid. Is good. It's not like it definitely to tops the charts like 100 percent for sure. Yeah. Like just like uh, like a solid album just from him. Uh, I saw some of the features on him. Uh, couple Future, Young Thug, and some other people I haven't like heard of. So this will be interesting. I'm excited. Luke. Well, with me, uh, I kind of like Drake. I kind of like Drake. And I actually get a lot of hate, hate from, at school because I like Drake. I'm really? not a huge, huge fan. Well, I mean, dude, everyone at, okay. Everyone at my school that likes Drake, besides me, everyone else thinks those people are gay. Oh. They just get attacked a lot. So it's, yeah, yeah. I'm lucky that I like Drake and then no one attacks me. And I'm not gay, by the way. I'm just saying that just now. Clear, yeah, clear but the bro, fact. Clear the fact. It. Gotta clear the fact. But bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sean said, "Dang it!" <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. That's terrible. I, everything Dom said, I'm really expecting to see a hype album. And overall, his his stuff live is pretty high energy as well. And mm. that normally is normally because it's he has some pretty catchy songs. Mm -hmm, yeah. And he's not a okay, Sean. He, ha, he he's not a great singer, but he can. I mean, he can sing a tune or two. It's he can rap as well. He's a pretty good rapper as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty excited to see, see see some of his music tonight. I'm not really sure what I'm going to expect because Drake's stuff, I feel like now, is a little bit predictable. I would and, agree with that, yeah. Yeah. But overall, I do like his I, I do like his span of work. Yeah. Dude, and I, I, Also, I, I, real cool. Also, go for it, John. Um, I, I was just gonna say like um, yeah I definitely agree with what Lucas is saying like um, you know he's not a singer you look like you look at and you're like oh my gosh that note he hit he's kind of the singer a singer that I think um, the main his main you know uh, his best quality is tone not really uh, many other things he kind of just stays in his range a lot so yeah I'm just looking for some good songs and all that what were we gonna say Joseph also um I, I remember an interview with one time with Drake and he said that, you know, he's not a good like singer. He's not a, like a really good like rapper. He said to himself, but he says he's a good lyricist, like lyricist. Am I saying that right? Lyricist. Yeah. So I'm yeah. looking for also like some profound like bars. I definitely, I think we'll see some of like, just like some really good like bars and kind of, I think maybe most of these songs. Yeah. Like some good lyrics, like get him money. <laughs> a little oh baby song gosh, from last no. night and speaking of I that before we get in before we get into this if you want to check out anything else any other music reviews we just did a little baby album review so you can check that out as well and we do podcasts every single sunday but um enough stalling um pretty excited for this to be honest sean c liked it if sean c likes an album then it's pretty good because he's a very tough critic on uh, youtube but um yeah first song deep pop pockets <laughs> <laughs> Right off the bat, I'm like, okay, it's not really a super fast rap song. And that's normally what I like to hear. But he's, um, I mean, it, the beats, I'm going to start off with the beat. The beat was not super, it didn't grab me right away. I was not a big fan of the beat. I felt like it repeated a lot. And it was really the same thing over and over again, which in reality it was. 
And the yeah. rapping was really pretty simple. He, he made it pretty simple. Nothing too extraordinary about the song. And then he tried singing in the middle of it, and I'm like, uh, he wasn't really, it wasn't really engaging. It wasn't satisfying or anything like that. It wasn't like, hold on, we're going home. Because that, that was pretty satisfying. That was a very satisfying song. To me. For sure. But For sure. it's, overall, this song was just pretty average. Everything, everything was pretty average. The rapping was average, the singing was average, and the instrumental was average. Reduction, I would not say is the best on this instrumental either. So I was not a huge fan of the song. It was an average, so I give this a seven out of ten. A so, no, six point five out of ten. Okay, I was about to say because average would be five, right? No, because five out of ten is fifty percent. Seventy is average, but I was gonna. Ah, uh, it's below average, I guess. Then. Yeah. All right. What do you think, Joseph? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm going to agree with because the beat was just kind of so-so. It was more like him talking than him actually rapping. And like the chorus was kind of just kind of just out there. I think it was just him more kind of just talking like Drake usually does when like beginning songs. He just kind of talks more and says like words. But back to when I was saying expectations about lyrics. Oh my gosh, there's a couple of them where I was like, oh dang, that's really good. Uh, let me see. One of them, one of the chorus was just, okay, well, yeah, cool, whatever. Um, back when the big apple soul dream, I stuck to my own thing. Back when my house that I own is now my home screen. Like that's, that's cool. And then like right after that, like the second verse had a lot of gems that I like, uh, running missions, pyramid schemes, just like the Egyptians. I like that. That was a cool bar too. And then it keeps on going back when hot lines were still flipping. Now I'm seeing money off hotline bling, but it feels different. That's a great bar. I love that. That was really good. I love, I just kind of love Drake's like lyrics. Just, they kind of just, they make sense and they flow real nice. And then another one was uh, inspired by a few, but my mind self drives like it's Tesla. I always had a little something extra. I love that too. I was like, oh dang, that's a good bar right there. That's a good bar. Like, I, so this song's like, it's okay. I really liked the lyrics on it. So it was, it was not too bad. Uh, you know, cause him just kind of just more like talking, I would say, instead of like rapping. But sometimes you yeah, for sure. just need to talk something out instead of, you know, rap about it. So it was all right. Um, definitely just kind of an average one. I'm going to give this one uh, 8 out of 10 just because of the lyrics. I really like the lyrics on it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I thought the lyrics were cool as well. I thought that the beat was super cool. Um, you know, it, it, it wasn't your normal beat. You know, I am definitely a fan when it comes to yeah. when it, when it, um yeah, but it's definitely not the normal like trap beat, you know, you're saying you'd hear it in rap. Um, but you know, when it comes to me, when when uh, it's a song that I like a lot. It usually is kind of honestly very formulaic. It, it has a chorus, catchy, catchy verses, catchy hook, everything, you know, normal beat, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus. And so I'm gonna be honest, whenever a song kind of strays away from that, like this one where it's it's just kind of just talking and then a chorus that in my opinion was kind of lackluster i agree with, agree with lucas it either needed more like you know tone and more like melodicity to it or auto tune um you know or a little more rhythm but at the same time even though i don't really like these types of songs anyways i don't like i don't think i would have really liked this song a lot from any other artist um i can't appreciate what joseph is saying about the lyrics or people who are way more into lyrics than me or just the feeling of it the feeling of it i think is kind of cool because the beat is kind of has so many different things going on in the background like it, it, they sound like vocal chops pitched down and messed with um i did also like the lyrics trying to ride the wave but it's rough seas um you know so ah, i like the vibe of it and i do think the lyrics are good the, those are things I can appreciate. That being said, as far as my enjoyment goes, I'd agree with Luke, the, Lucas. In fact, I'd probably give it a little lower than him. I'll give it a six out of ten because for me, a five is average. Uh, it, it's just a five is just like wait, okay. Fifty percent is average for you. For me, a ten is amazing. One is trash, and five is just like okay. I give the six yeah, because fair. it's because that's it's fair. a little better than okay. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. But uh, yeah, next song. Here, next song um, is when to say when so uh let's do that when to say when yes i said that right okay, yes cool. <laughs> awesome <laughs> yes I, all right, I said that right um, wait, wait, wait is it when to say when? Off, 
Okay, Sean. Just, Wait, is it? You're just, making me question yeah. life, bro. Stop. Okay. Uh, yes. When to say when? Anyway. Anyway. Um, not what I was expecting at all. Like the beak was like. Mm, it kind of like sounded like nice for what? Like kind of the beginning of it. Uh, another Drake song. Um. Yeah. And then the beat, and then the the 808, and then the bass kicked, and I was like, oh snap! That like, bump. That that crap bump. And that was really good. I really liked. I like this. I like how it's a freestyle. Definitely a freestyle. But even though this is a freestyle, back to what I was saying about lyrics. Holy crap! This is like full of so many like true and real things that like yeah. are are prevalent in like anybody's life today. Oh, uh, there's 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 so many of like bars. Yeah. Where like, oh my gosh, that's so good. Um, one of them definitely for sure. Half the time I question my conscience in this s word other times i question my con if compliments are legit i was just like oh yeah snap like that's really good that's really that's just like it's like oh like like that's so true like kind of just like in anybody's life and then just like the way he was just kind of like flowing with it was really good another one was i decide what to see next like it's on demand i decide what to be next like i'm switching plans and I'm gonna tell you what you feel next, like the weather, man. I was like, dang, just even though, like, even though this is like just a freestyle and I might not even be like structured, this is something like I feel like somebody would take like years to write down or even like to just to make. Like, this is like, mm. these are just like really solid bars. Another one was uh, bang those divid, divid, uh, divided into, oh, whatever. Snakes still slip. Division, yeah, division, division. <laughs> 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 me over here trying to be like joseph this is how you say it buddy i do <laughs> right well whatever uh snakes still slither in how do you plan to make it to the top by just fitting in how do you plan for your end to take your spot just by giving in just like oh snap oh yeah rick like that's really good so like this song was like the beat was good i really like this song but in order for a song to get on my playlist, it's got to be a ten. That's how, like, that's how I know a song is really yeah, good. But I'm gonna give this one a solid nine out of ten. This was a really good song. I like the beat on it. Um, criticism, eh, the flow was just okay. Yeah, it was good. But yeah, yeah I the, like the you know, so you know, I, I think you have to learn right when listening to Drake or when he's gonna talk like real lyrics and you know not do a song like. Um, like a non-stop, like a non-stop, um, oh yeah, or, or, or the, the, the dance song, Frick, I'm blanking out, uh, Tusty Roll, Sean, Tusty Roll, yeah, Tusty yeah. Roll, you know, it, it's either he's gonna do a song like that, kind of, just kind of joking around, not saying too much, but sounding really catchy, or he's gonna do a serious song that doesn't have, like, a lot of, uh, meaning, and that's what I'm getting for the most part from him, so, when this song you know, started, I could tell what it was going to be. It was going to be the last song times 10. And what I mean by that is the last song's idea of kind of just talking, you, you know, exaggerated even more. Um, so, yes, there's really no flow to this. You know, when when people think of flow is, you know, it's 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 in a pocket. It's in between two kick hits and a snare. You know, it's da -da -da -da. it's not no, 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 no. But, you know, I mean. You know, you you, he you was can't. Going off the, flow, there was some it, flow it, it, the thing yeah. is, though, it, it wasn't on flow, but none of it was on flow, so technically, it's not off beat. Like the the song mm -hmm. didn't the beat didn't really have a rhythm in my idea, in my or not my idea, in my opinion. So I think it sounded fine. Now, agree with Don. I mean, uh, not Don Frick, Joseph. Is, is this a song <laughs> I'm gonna hop on my playlist? Um, are these songs I even normally like. No, but again, same with the last one. I have to, you know. Uh, Tim, I had to him. These lyrics, some of these lyrics are, are insane. Now, not insane in the sense that like it's like, oh, that bar, that double entendre, but they're just so real and relatable. Um, That's true. But also, I did really real love. Quick, real, real quick. Yeah. Real quick. I thought it was a freestyle because I got the Chicago freestyle. That's the next song playing. I thought it was the fr Chicago freestyle, but it's a different song. So he did write this down. So my bad. I thought it was a freestyle, but it's not. Well, I mean, you don't have to hey, put freestyle for it to be thing. free. One more thing. Sure. One more thing. Sean. This beat does have a rhythm in it. Why? <laughs> it has a. Well, rhythm. I, you can you can get to that in your review. I'm almost done. So, but but no. Speaking of the beat, though, oh. uh, thank you for bringing that up. Um, I thought the sample in the super vibey, I, the beat was re honestly a really, really peaceful and nice and all that. My favorite lyric was when he said, um, you know, I think it was like, um, 
you know, no one can love you how your mother can. Shout out, shout out Sandra Graham, um, which is his mom's name, obviously, because his name is Aubrey Graham. Uh, so yeah, that was, you know, that was a nice line as well. And well, before, and before Lucas says that, I, you're right. The, every beat technically has a rhythm, but I mean, for this, it, it, I don't think there is enough rhythm where it's, it's like, it's like, oh my gosh, he's so offbeat. It was just kind of like a free form, freestyle beat. But uh, that being said, what do you think about the song, Luke? Sean, there was a rhythm in this beat. I'm sorry. It's not even a matter of opinion. There's a rhythm in there. There's a rhythm in all. In you think all there's a rhythm, beat. Joseph? Yeah, I thought there was a little bit of a rhythm. Sean, right. it's just he was going. He was going a little bit off of off of the rhythm. Like there were little periods where he just didn't didn't really rap, and he then he resumed, and he kind of it kind of seemed a little bit off, which is why I'm gonna give this an eight out of ten. It was not. I like the lyrics. I like the lyrics, and that's probably why I'd give it an eight out of ten. I liked the rapping was way better than the last song, but overall it was the little pauses and and the kind of offness about some of his lines they were a little weird not lyrically but like according to like like it didn't always line up with the instrumental which had rhythm but um it, it just seemed like he would jump in certain places where you need to start a little bit before you start like, a little bit before that i know when you're talking yeah, he, about he just jumped in certain areas yeah near the end right yeah yeah, yeah. For sure, and yeah, I, I get what you're saying. I'd probably give it a frig same same rating as last song, to be honest. Actually, no, a little higher because I like the sample. Um, but now going to the next song, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I've heard part of this song, and this does break the trend of kind of the uh, the talking. And this one is a I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna spoil it, but it's it's more Dude, of a normal listen, Drake song. You listen to it without it. I listened to How part of this one. Anyways, yeah. next yeah, song. This, one, this song, this Chicago Freestyle and When to Say When were released before this album. Oh, my bad, man. No, no, well, we're not doing yeah, Chicago Freestyle right. because uh, I, it, that's been out for a while. I mean, not to you. Not to you. That one. I've heard part of it. It's flame. The Chicago Freestyle awesome. is very similar to these tracks. And I think I, I think I did a review of it, review of it anyways. So, um, not to you. Featuring awesome. Chris Brown. All right, so I gotta go get my dog, so I'm not gonna okay. go first. So you're right off the bat. I'm like, cool, Chris Brown. He has a great voice, and I did not. It wasn't what I expected. There were, yeah, there was one part. There's a part of the song that's repeated. It's kind of like a pre-chorus, where it seems like he's trying to attempt to run, mm -hmm. but it's not really working out. It's like a failed, a failed run. And that kind of bothered me. I expected more vocally out of this song as well, but it just didn't really, nothing really happened. It really yeah. just stayed low tempo, low tempo, nothing really built up. It was really just, I mean, I like low tempo, low, low tempo songs, but it just didn't really seem to do anything. Like it, it didn't seem like there was anything too special about the song that just grabbed me. And that was just like the first song. First song didn't really have a whole lot of the traits that grabbed me either. And this one, it was really like I'm. I wanted to hear a lot more from Chris Brown, but mm -hmm. he didn't really perform like I thought he was going to perform. It's not like he performed badly, but he w did not do his absolute best. It seemed like here. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely true. This was, um, yeah, definitely more on like kind of the like more like singy, slowish type song on this one. Um, I thought you know like. Uh, Chris Brown was gonna have like a, maybe a verse on it, but no, he kind of just kind of harmonized a couple of Drake parts and just had some couple ad libs in it. I mean, it wasn't wasn't bad. I kind of wanted a little more out of Chris Brown, so it, it the it worked kind of with it, just kind of how the beat went with it and just kind of the flow. But it worked. It reminded me of uh, a, a song on Scorpio that Scorpion, I think, not Scorpio, Scorpion that uh, Drake dropped uh, called Jaded, which is kind of like more of a kind of like more of a song of just like just kind of like you know talking about you know things that maybe like girls did or just like emotional feelings and stuff so yeah. like that definitely felt more of that so i kind of like how it just kind of went with it it was definitely a song like you kind of just vibe to it's not a song you like hype yourself up or like you play it in the car it's just kind of a song just kind of when like late at night you just need a song to play and it's kind of just like uh like just kind of a song exactly. just to, yeah. just yeah. just to flow with 
Um, not a lot of lyrics kind of popped out on me. It's just kind of like, like I said, kind of a more of like emotional song that was just kind of there. I mean, which was it? Wasn't it? Which was what is not? Ah, I can't speak. Which is not bad necessarily, but like it's just kind of like there and just it is what it is. So it wasn't too bad. Um, Lucas, actually, would you rate it? Um, I would rate this probably a four out of ten. Okay, I'm gonna say solid five out of ten. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I, I, it's definitely a song that if I like if I was in the car right now, listen to this. Like, regardless of how I feel about it right now. Like, it's that kind of song where I think I'd really vibe to it. Um, you know, I'm split in this song. I, th- I like this better than you guys like it, but um, I'm definitely split on it because there's parts of it I really like and parts of it I don't like that much. Yeah, the whole Chris Brown thing, um, you know, someone can be on a song and be a feature, you know, without doing a verse. You know, like, that, that's cool. Yeah, um, But, you know, it's the mix, the uh, the actual mix of, the, of their two voices in my opinion, weren't too good. Like, you know, you know, whatever. And then I, I didn't really, there's parts of Drake's where I didn't really, I really just didn't like the layering of vocal. You know, I, I didn't really like. Um, but that being said, I really like the chorus. Like, I, I really, I, okay, not really, really, but I, you know, I like the chorus. The chorus was super vibey. You know, um, I thought his vocal sounded really good. Um, I'm tone deaf though, so <laughs> you know, <laughs> I did I did like the I did like his vocals though, and how he came in and all of that. Um, you know, and the beat is weird as well. Like it, you either mm-hmm. love it or hate it. I do actually really like the beat though. I love the weird synths on the bridge. You know, the really uh, I don't know. There's weird, and then I also like the distorted bells. Um. Yeah, I thought Drake did pretty good on it, and I, and I like also at the end how he gets on different tone. Uh, he kind of has like a different tone. Um, yeah, I mean, no lyrics stood out. It's not. It's it's the exact opposite of the other songs. You know, it's um very, uh, very. It's a very flow and vibe driven song versus lyric driven song. And I'm hoping right that we get some that are um, hype as well. Um, yeah, this but, next one's supposed to be. This next one's supposed to be. It's it's. I listened to just a little bit of it, and it's got future in it. And it's. Oh, desires. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've heard, it, I've heard a leak of that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it, yeah. It sounds good. Um, that is the, that is part of it. This album is full of a lot of leaks, so we've kind of heard part some of that's some of the songs partly. Um. Oh yeah, and I was gonna say. Um, my ideal for the song would have made it to ten out of ten, is if, um, <clears throat> no Chris Brown. Um. <laughs> and and Dang. and Dang. they put the, they put the weekend on this song okay oh, the okay. weekend that, that makes, okay that makes the sense. weekend okay, would, i could see that chris brown and everything will be better the, that doesn't, okay I, I like chris brown but i think i like chris brown but i think the weekend could have killed this and would have done better harmonizing with drake actually like some really well, I, high I think with the week- I think with the weekend, the whole production would would have been way better as well, and the instrumental would have been way better because there was nothing really about the instrumental that grabbed me either. Well, for sure, but like the week, weekend. yeah. I mean, but at the same time, it's not like the weekend makes his instrumentals. I don't think. But as far as on this instrumental, he has, how he producers, he'll probably bring his producers as well. That is very true. That is very true. But as far as like this song as it is, not changing anything except it, except adding um, extra part of the beat for a verse and taking Chris Brown away. Um, Bro, the weekend doing some really high falsettos with Drake's um, lower chorus would have soothed my heart. Anyways, next song, Desires, oh feature, featuring Future Desires. All right, so um, first off, I do have to say um, I actually liked Future on this track. I didn't love him, but I I, I usually do not like Future a lot because, you know, he's going, and I don't like that. Well, crap. to be fair, so do you. I mean... Yeah, you know what I'm saying, but I don't like myself. I'm depressed, oh. Lucas. So, um, oh, I apologize. but I kind of liked Future on this song, you know, um, just kind of like a simple addition, um, you know, it, and I think the track might have gotten a little boring if it was just Drake. So I actually think Future was a pretty good addition. Um, uh, you know, I re- I I loved the chorus on this song. I thought the chorus was sick. I know. I just really simple um chorus, and I like the you know kind of the pauses in between. It's it's uh you know another vibey song, um as well. The beat was really cool. Um, 
you know, a very simple formulaic song. And my my only thing I don't like about it is I think it went on for too long. I think it could have ended after um after the third chorus, and then it had a verse three and then an outro. I think it could have just yeah. I think the verse three was um cutting it a little too much but i like the verses i like everything about it my favorite song so far definitely i wouldn't give it a 10 though because like i wasn't like oh this is so good like there's nothing wrong with it but i wasn't vibing that hard uh you know but definitely a drake song i'm gonna be playing again i give this a 7.5 out of 10 um what do you think joseph um i liked it too i liked future's part on it too it was just kind of a, a short verse but it was still good. Definitely contributed a lot. The chorus was good. The chorus was catchy. I liked it a lot. Um, back to, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm kind of looking at this as a, as a lyric perspective, you know, just kind of look. And there's a couple of them where like, okay, like I, I messed with it. Um, self, the second, start of the second verse, uh, Drake says, self-control has never been your thing. Don't think it would help if there was a ring with a rock in it. I was like, I like oh, that. snap, snap. All right. And then another one was, uh, you come to a city. Uh, wait, no, I that one. Uh, how the f do you keep so many secrets? How are you going vegan but still beefing with me <laughs> again? Snap! That, like that, yikes! That line kind of made me laugh a little bit. Yeah, yeah, seriously, for real. That one, that one was that one was good. And then uh, he says also says, "I see you back in Turks." So I was like, "Oh, shout out to Lucas and Turks." Oh, yes, I was sorry. about to say shout that. I was about to say that. Shout out to Lucas and Turks. Oh, Turks. Shout shout out to Lucas and Turks. <laughs> It'd be funny if that was actually a real place, but yeah. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> Dude, it, yeah, it's his place. Yeah. Sean, are you okay, bro? Anyways, are you okay? Uh, is it too late for you, bro? All right, what is it? One, one is it one out of ten? What is it one out of ten? Uh, oh, I have one more thing. So I definitely would agree with you, Sean, about how it was, maybe got a little too long. Uh, you know, you probably could have cut out the third verse and then uh, and then kind of just skip the outro. I don't know what the outro was. It was kind of weird. It was kind yeah, of who was that guy talking? Yeah, I have no idea. It sounded like me, but I was like, there's no way they got a recording of me talking. Like, pff, that's really, Oh my that's gosh, crazy. whatever. And there's no way you and Drake are hanging out, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. Uh, ooh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Fired. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm, I love, I, I'm just kidding. I love you, okay? I'm sorry. Gosh, I love you so much, too. Okay. One out of ten. Okay, sorry. Yeah, you overdid it. You overdid it. You overdid it. All right, so, yeah, I would give this, I liked it, a solid uh, eight out of ten. All right, what do you, what do you think, Lucas? Do you like okay, it or so I, I do you hate it? This one, I would give this one a six out of ten, but because Sean didn't know what Turks was, I'm giving it a seven. Yeah. So <laughs> I, got, I, I, I just, I love the song now, bro. I love the song now because you said that. I right, for real though, anyway, for real though. Okay. <laughs> anyway, oh, so the beat was the beat was um, pretty good, pretty good. Um, I'd say I like Future's part. I wasn't crazy about it like drake's part wasn't crazy about it that's been really the case of these songs i've not been crazy about them and it's, but you haven't hated it's them. really it's either it's all it's all there in one area or it's and it's not all there in everything else that's really what it's been besides and besides that I, I still haven't heard and i don't really hear this a lot from drake i like i like i like some drake songs but you don't i'm not really hearing like total perfection and you don't always hear that from songs but um in this case, when you're one of the biggest rappers in the world, you gotta you gotta do something. That, <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? But, yeah, for real. But, the biggest rapper in the world. Yeah. Okay, Eminem's the biggest rapper in the world, Sean. Well, okay. It's it's not even That's a, that can that can argument can be saved for a later time. Yeah. Anyway, it's overall th that's why I'd give this song a six out of ten without Sean bringing up Turks. Because it's not really, overall, vocally was all right. It's it's just been kind of mediocre, vocally yeah. as yeah. like as we've listened so far, and the rapping has been mediocre as well. But the beats have been by far the best thing, and that's what I admire on this album so far. I like the beats a lot better than everything else. I don't love the beats. I I kind of like them, but yeah. overall wow. they just. I mean that's what I like about this album. I can't gotcha. really too much. Also, real quick, what is your guys' favorite song so far? Probably this one, I, I'd say. Probably this yeah. one or <laughs> not you two or not you two. Sean, stop. Sean, I swear. You That's are all creepy. 
Um, all right, next one, boys. Time flies. Oh, and real quick, you know, I agree with Luke. Like, it, it's, it's, you know, he's nailing the flows. He's nailing the lyrics, but not all in one. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, um, definitely agree with that. Yeah. yeah. I would Which say makes also probably, probably when to say when is probably my favorite so far. Yeah. All right, next one. Time moves. Flies. Awesome. So, time flies. Uh, just Drake by himself. Um, another really vibey, just another one where you just kind of just play like late at night, just to kind of just like vibe with it. It's just another vibe song. I I liked it. Not a not any like lyrics really like popped out at me. Um, flow was good. I liked down here. It was a really just kind of chill, mellow song, which I kind of like. Like every album needs to sound that. Um, I really liked one part. As he, he, at the end of the first verse, he said, "As soon as I'm free, I'm about to pop up on your phone." Like, and it was perfectly into the chorus. I loved how that yeah. just was perfect. Like, I pop my phone. Like, like I'm outside. That was perfect. Just kind of, oh, of course. Yeah. That that was really. I was really clean on that. I really liked that. Nothing else. Kind of on lyrics. The outro was kind of just, eh. Okay, whatever. Cool. But yeah, I like the song. It was a really vibey song. Not too bad. Not too good. Kind of just a just a solid seven out of ten. Yeah. Lucas. Lucas. Overall, I I like the vocal vocal sounded very refreshing very satisfying and the beat was pretty good as beat was pretty good as well mm -hmm. yeah. yeah i give the beat probably a eight out of ten vocal vocal i'd also give an eight out of ten it was great melodic rap and besides that lyrics lyrics were all right that's the one thing i'm kind of like uh but overall i'd probably give this an 8.5 out of 10 Oh dang! So this is your favorite song so far. This is your favorite song so far. Best song I've heard so far. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, wow, you like this song a lot. <laughs> he loves yeah. it. Um, <laughs> yeah. I like, <laughs> I like this too. I read the mix was so juicy and good. Um, yeah, I like how the, good. I like how the beats going in and out. Like, the beat smacks like bro, harder than a black mama smacking her kid's butt. <laughs> like, whoa, okay, whoa, okay, whoa, okay, whoa! Okay, that took like a chill weird out. turn. That's this is, wrong. This is <laughs> why people think you're. Oh, my God. Goodness gracious! Uh, I, I'm holding myself back. I really liked the outro. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? This was like the outro was weird. <laughs> no, I really. I liked it because that's the kind of thing you could smoke, but apparently you can. I liked the <laughs> outro because of that's kind of stuff I try and do is like manipulate vocals and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> the ending. What the heck was that? Weo, weo. Like, what? I don't know if you Yeah, that was it. weird. Yeah, um, that was definitely weird. Yeah. I think this is the best song we've gotten so far of mix uh, with, the, with the mix of flows and storytelling slash lyrics. Ah, uh, this probably isn't my favorite song yet, though. Dude, what are these noises you're making, man? I, I swear. Because I wasn't, awesome. I wasn't a huge fan of the chorus. It sounded a lot like Kiki, which I mean, I mean, that's okay, because you know, um, you know, Lil Uzi Vert did part two to EXO Tour Life, so it's like, I mean, you know, mm -hmm. um, definitely sounds like like a, a the B version of Kiki. Um, it sounds like the Kiki. Heartless. It you sounds like Heart. It sounds like Heartless by the Weekend. That beat? No, it doesn't. Sound. <laughs> nah, it doesn't. Nah, that. No, doesn't no, 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 no. The beat sounds. The beat sounds like the heartless beat. No, not even that. All right. Well, everybody's entitled to their opinion. Anyways, I like this song. Opinion doesn't. I would give this song a seven out of ten. Yeah, seven out of ten. All right. Next song landed. Let's hope this track lands. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible pun. What song is it, Sean? Sean. So before you're gonna come at my fellow kin, next time remember what the freaking song is. Okay. Landed. Landed, bro. Landed, bro. Landed. It's called no, no, yeah. Landed, dumb. It's called Landed, yeah. Rhinoceros. Yeah. So what I have to say about the song, right off the bat, I love the hype. It's a great energetic song. And now I think that topped it. The rapping was pretty good. Pretty good. It wasn't great, but it was pretty good. I give the song an eight point five out of ten. Um, lyrics are pretty pr pretty cool too. It really really matched with the um with with the beat. And overall, it wasn't too complicated, but I felt like it fit the song. And sometimes it doesn't have to be too co complicated to fit the song. It has to be it, it can just be a certain subject. 
it could, be, it could really be any, anything, but the way you, you the way you arrange it, the area of your your voice where you arrange it, that's really what he did. Everything was perfect. Size, Dang. size the lyrics. That's it. Dang. What would you um, give this one out of ten? Eight point five. Yeah, he's eight point five. Um, bro. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Drake! Holy frick! Sean, are you Sean? Are you having an aneurysm? Are you okay? <laughs> that flow was so wavy, bro. Good lord, Good I lord. love. I'm about to call your mom just ask if you're okay. I I'm love. Sure okay, fine. but I, bro, the flow was the flow. so hard. It was so hard. Um, I also like. Hard? I also like the bar. Bought that girl a shovel because she a gold digger. <laughs> um, it's funnier seeing you, um, hearing you say it because you're the biggest gringo. Super, super, <laughs> super, 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 super catchy chorus. I have nothing bad to say about this song. I mean, the lyrics are so, so big deal. Get over it. Um, 8.5 out of 10. 8.5 oh, out of 10. Or, or around a 9. This is a really, really, really good song. What do you think, Joseph? Well... Yeah, you guys really like this. Like, I'm gonna actually kind of disagree a little bit. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna disagree. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm gonna disagree. I I didn't. I mean, it's a good hype song. I mean, so I thought this was maybe a B version of Nonstop. Just kind of yeah, the way he was flowing, and kind of just the 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 bars to it. Like, what did, you just, say, what did <laughs> you just say, Joseph? What did you just say, Joseph? Oh my gosh! Like, dude, like for from the love nonstop. Of God. No. For the nonstop, he goes, "I'm a bar spitter, I'm a hard hitter." And then this couple where said, "I've been popping," and then I'm not kidding. I'm like, uh, 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 "Bruh, that's Bruh. So, insane." Yeah, so you like, just ruined it for me. You just ruined it for me. I know, I know. Sean, I totally popped just, it. I totally it popped me. it. I totally popped the the bubble of it. No, like, the verses, no. the verses were kind of were kind of like short, and the way it was ended, it was kind of abrupt. I thought. But I mean, it's not bad. It's not completely bad. I mean, I like the flow. The flow is really nice. But I just kind of thought this was a B version to like nonstop. I didn't really like love it like you did, Sean. You like freaking yeah. love this song. Dude. I don't like it anymore because you ruined it. Because you ruined it. <laughs> Sean, Sorry, no, bro. you just said this. Why are you doing that? Why? Why bro, do you have audio edition? You ruined it, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just how it is. But there's. Uh, lyrics were okay, but I like the like what you said, Sean. I bought my dog a rollie because he roll with it. I bought my girl a shovel because she a gold digger. Bro, how is that, that like? Was, how is that, that was, cool? Okay, that was a good bar. I like that part. Like, I'm gonna give this a seven out of ten. It wasn't too bad, but it wasn't too good. Yeah, and uh, with that being said, Lucas has to leave. So actually, guys, I could stay around a little bit longer. All right, yes, boys. Sir. Well, the next yes, song, yeah, D4L. Sure, 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 D4L. Shut up, Sean. With uh, up, Future and Young Thug, and great, because I, I don't, I hate Young Thug. Okay, real, real fast. Can I say something real fast? Go for it. Say it, Luke. It was, it's so amazing, Sean. You're just so ready to kick me out. Bro, bro, bro you said you had to leave. Bro, you said you had to leave. Oh, you said you had to leave. You said you had to leave. You were so energetic. You were so energetic, and I'm not really sure. It kind of, like, damages my, my feelings. Dang. Hey, hey, Lucas. Shut the crap up. Okay, bro, I love when you do reviews with us, all right? Regardless oh, yeah, of what yeah, Sean, Sean says. Right. Do that, take that. Positive. You need to stop, Luke. You need to stop. You said that, right? Next song. Oh my gosh. Let's D4. go next song. Let's go, boys. D4L. Um, this is probably my least favorite on the whole album. I give this one a 2 out of 10. Dang. Yeah, I mean. Actually, actually 3 out of 10. I, I, I can't compliment Turks. <laughs> yeah, God. I mean, look. The B was like, I, but it's just a normal B. Uh, Thug. Look, I liked Thug more than I normally do. At least he didn't do any, hey, 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 hey. you know, he kept it at his normal level. That, that just blew out my speakers. That, that just blew out um, my speakers. You know, the, uh, the chorus was, it was so stupid, but it got a little catchy on the second listen. <laughs> um, Drake, meh. You know, uh, Thug, better than usual, but that's not. It, you know, pretty good. It's, it's a really, look. They they this is a very very uh, quickly put together song. So you have to you know you have to um, uh, base your rating off of catchiness. Off of catchiness, it's it's, it's okay. You know, would I listen to this again? No. Um, specifically, <laughs> future is racist. Okay, <laughs> my guy literally said all that. Brrr, 
you gonna think we from Saudi Arabia. <laughs> no, it's, not, it's not really, but it's. I mean, it was. He wasn't Anyways, lying. whatever. And then Young Thug says, "I eat calamari." Just random. Oh, why? These lyrics. Sean, to be honest, to be fair, he's not really known for lyrics. Neither. Yeah, exactly. True. So you're gonna. But as far as catching, you're right. You're right. But as far as catching this, he's like. Yeah, I'm kind of bisexual, kind of, kind of straight. For sure, Always but as far as catchiness goes, I don't like catchiness. And how many times Future went? <laughs> you don't like catchiness? I didn't like that burger part. Um, Dude, but yeah, Joseph, that what do you think? Reverb is really it. So much feedback with the reverb. What do you think, Joseph? <laughs> um, I thought it was a. Eh, no, I just thought this was a mediocre song. Like he kind of said, put. I kind of like thrown together. I kind of oh, like. Yeah. That. I kind of like like Young Thug didn't really have a verse, which is kind of good. But I the the chorus I don't know why but I was digging it I don't know why I'm not saying I like this song I don't know but like when I say what's happening I was like what's happening what's happening okay wow please just stop please so so it was like cancer in my ears (laughs) (laughs) so it was I like the catchiness was definitely there um definitely I really like kind of the chorus the the verses were just like whatever lyrics weren't there at all it was just whatever. It was just kind of a kind of just a fun mess around song, like some like three guys, three awesome friends, kind of just go in the studio and be like, <laughs> oh, frick it, let's just make whatever the flip we want to and just have some fun. And that's kind of what I feel like they did, just to kind of have fun with it, which is which you kind of need that now and then for for an album. So I it was all right. It wasn't like oh my gosh, I love this song. No, definitely not like that. Um, four, three, uh, four out of ten. It's definitely interesting you say that. Um, it is kind of cool. Because they're all, they freaking love the song. They're all no, I really freaking love this song. They're all really <laughs> big guys in the industry, and well, they're not like big guys, but like they're big in the industry, and they all like are homies and all that. Drake is together. huge in the industry, Sean. Mm-hmm. He's yeah, huge. I, I literally just said that. But anyways, next Dude, you're like, we not have all, not really, not pain. Really big in the industry. We have <laughs> pain. Nineteen ninety three. Now I've heard snippets of Drake's part. Yeah, uh, it is. Ooh, I've I've heard I've heard mixed feelings about this. I've heard some people like, oh my yeah. gosh, it's straight fire, and then other I, people I, it's like, oh, it's trash. So I've heard I've heard um I heard snippets of Drake's part a while ago. Fire, play by Cardi. I don't like in general, so I don't so we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But uh, pain nineteen thirty three. Oh my lord, no, stop. Why no song? Bad, horrible, horrendous. I did well, not like this like, song. That was the this best. Is, <laughs> like, nah. this is the reason why I don't listen to Playboy Cardi. Like, my guy. The the only good thing I would have to say about this is the beat was okay, and then Drake's on the course said like, dun 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 dun, and then he switched it and like did something else, and I was like, no. If he kept with that like kind of semi fast, I would have loved it. Like the course would have been fire, but then. But then I hear his, his part was okay, but then I hear Playboys and he got that stupid baby voice. And I don't know why people think that's fire. I don't see it at all. I think that's just a little four year old kid trying his best impression of rapping. And it just stinks. And I just don't know. I don't mess with it at all. This is probably my least favorite song so far off of the album. I don't care what you say in the comments or what people say. I'm sorry. I do not like this song. Adam. All right. Solid. Uh, solid. Only because the the chorus is just a little fire. I'm going to give this a solid 2 at it. Nope. 1 out of 10. Yeah, and and before Lucas goes, it's interesting because I I've never shown him Playboy Cardi out of fear of his livelihood not being destroyed by listening to such blasphemy. But what do you think, Luke? This review, I hate Playboy Cardi. I don't hate her as a person. I hate her as a musician. What? I do not like her music. <laughs> Bro, it's a E. <laughs> overall, this song, was, this song was terrible, Sean. It was terrible. Drake yes. It was not that good in this song. Yeah, this <laughs> song was garbage. Is it, is it not? I'd say this is worse than Turks. This is worse than Turks. <laughs> and it's, I never thought anything would be worse than Turks, but this time, it takes the cake, man. Oh, yeah. What about, what about, hold on, what about Houdini by KSI? Okay, that's no, also Houdini's fire, Turks. bro. I Houdini's never thought there would be more than five songs that are worse than Turks. But yet, <laughs> I've, been, I've been so surprised. <laughs> I've been so surprised. Oh, and man. it's really, I'm, I'm in shock. Drake is freaking out. 
Drake is having an aneurysm right now. I'm not sure what, why ah. he Cardi onto a song because she was terrible. I'm sorry. Bro, I'm it's a he. You know that, right? Sorry, sorry if you're a Drake sexual. Just accept the fact. Car Playboy Cardi did not have a good part in the song. Except Isn't Playboy Cardi a he? No, no it's a she. It's a it, she. It's a she? Yeah. It's a she. What? What would, guys, out, out, what, what would you give it one out of ten, Lucas? Wait, wait, Playboy Cardi's a girl? What would you Dude, What would you give this one yes. out of ten, Lucas? Oh my god, I, that's... I'd give it a two shot. I would give it a So two. here's the deal, boys. Here's the deal. Alright. Um, the snippet I listened to was good. Now, you it know what the snippet... Like you know what the snippet was? The snippet was the one good song of this... Part of the song that he should have made the chorus. Okay? So... The part of the song where I was like, that is so catchy, and the rest I hated. But this is the part. Um, Shawty came from Mexico, you know she got the Swiss stuff. That flow that he did for only like two or two to four bars was fire. That flow was fire. That was the flow that um, we heard in the snippets. Um, and, and, and that was a good flow. But... He goes with the chorus, which it wasn't, you know, it wasn't like mountainlessly bad, but um, it just, it just, you know, it was just so, so. And and Playboy Cardi, I, how is this guy more famous than me? Because <laughs> I'm out here doing at least okay music. Oh my, gosh. my guy, if I was doing, <laughs> my friends would never let me. Live it down. Let it alone. Okay, Sean, get all, on a Drake first song. Of all, I, I just want I want to agree. You are way better than Playboy Cardi. I'm Thanks, yeah, bro. I definitely one hundred percent agree with that. Yeah. You are on some um, crazy cocaine right now. You have sniffed some crazy cocaine. To be fair, he's sure. done songs in the past that haven't been the baby. Eh, you know, baby whatever, whatever. But no, he ruined the song. I don't think Drake was amazing. I mean, like if, if this was just Drake, it'd probably be like a four. You know what I'm saying? But because Drake didn't go with the dope flow. And I want to ask you, Joseph, did, do you know what flow I'm talking about? Uh, What do you mean? Like the his one, chorus flow? No, no, the, the shorty came from Mexico. You know she got the sweet stuff? That flow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That flow was so dope. But he, why didn't he make it the chorus? Like, that's obviously a very chorusy flow. But he didn't. So overall, I give this song a 1 out of 10. Yeah. Next song. Yeah. Uh, actually, no, I wouldn't give it a 1 out of 10. I give it a 3 out of 10. Um, next song is, um, okay, so losses. It's kind of funny this is after, um, the song everybody was hyped for and was ruined by Playboy Cardi because he suffered yeah. a loss. <laughs> um, I just, uh, frick, frick me, dude. I didn't like this, bro. I, I don't know. Like, it, it had pretty meaningful lyrics, I suppose. And I, I did like his voice tone. And the beat was pretty cool, but it just sounds so much like the first couple tracks, you know, the offbeat kind of talking thing. Uh, you know, it was cool he had his dad on it. That was cool he had his dad on it. And and you know, I did like the shout outs to his family and that he's doing all this for his family. Um, you know, and, um, you know, he had two good bars I really liked. Um, I'm trying to show the waves, no cap. Um, you know that was cool because you take off a hat and you see a black guy's waves if he oh my. is lined up properly um and then i also like the bar i do it for the grams or i do it for the gram not the gram that's like a double entendre because it could either be i do it for my family because his last name is graham not instagram or i do it for my family not grammys or i do it for grammys not instagram so that was yeah, cool that was a good bar. um yeah. Probably one of the good, be goodest bars I've heard on this album, bar. but um, I don't know. I mean, it, like I'd probably like it more if I wasn't in such a freaking angry mood. But after that last song, Drake, you finna have to do some nice hype crap. This crap, it, I it's too much of it on the album. Um, uh, frick me, I need a That's tissue. Really what wrong. do you think, Joseph? <laughs> I need a tissue. Um, this is kind of just like this might just seem like it. But, like, this is kind of how Drake albums are. They're just more kind of a couple hype songs here and there, but they're mostly, like, vibey, slow, R&B-like type of songs. And this is another example of it because it's, like, kind of, like, not the same. Not kind of, like, the... What? 
Let's, we're not gonna even. We're not gonna. I don't know about that. Scorpion. That has a, a Scorpion okay, had a just, Scorpion had a, had a lot of songs. Scorpion true. had a lot true. of hype songs. True, yeah. that's true. But that's Scorpion true. did have a couple of like wavy, like way back songs. But no, this one wasn't too bad. It's just kind of like this, not almost not necessarily the same thing, but kind of what kind of we kind of heard already, kind of like the flow and just kind of goes. But this song was more of a dedication to to his dad, and he was sampling. In, um, I think one of his dad's songs on this, so it's just kind of a kind of a tribute. His to dad him. raps? Would, no, 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 no. It was it was this I think <laughs> was part, talking to his per to him like in the beginning. Yeah, in the beginning he was talking about him. I think in the end too. His dad's a so, dentist, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was good. This was another one that had like good lyrics in it, which I I always enjoy. I really liked it. Uh, I liked the one who said, "I never thought I'd see awards through in a glass case." I could have ended up in your crib with a masked face. That's a good bar. I really like that one. Just kind of shows like the two opposite sides of it. So I really could like. I also like how he ended each verse. You know, you wrote me on the. I think it was the. On the first verse, it was, you put me on the road without a road map. I'm just trying to make a, make a no song. These are cold facts. And then on the second verse, she said, you wrote me off, then you never wrote back. I'm not trying to make no songs. These are cold. I kind of just like how it's like that these are cold, good, cold flacks, like cold, fla <laughs> cold <laughs> facts. Like I kind of just like because it's true. Like what he's spitting is just it's just straight up. Like this is not a song he's trying to make. It's just these are just cold facts. He's just saying you know like this is just it straight up. So I guess kind of like that. Kind of like the that's what kind of what I love it, about Drake is just how he's just kind of like really blunt. He's really good with lyrics. So this is another really good like lyric song. But you know, kind of like the the beat and the flow, which kind of like you know they're there. But I kind of like the tribute to it. So uh, seven out of ten. What, um, Lucas? What do you think about this song? Okay, I did not like the song at all. Thank you. I I was not really, I was not grabbed at all. At first, I'm like, okay, who's this other guy singing on here? <laughs> this is this is in a whole nother key. This isn't even this in the same key. I'm like, whoa, 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 Discord, Discord, out my ears, out my ears. And I, I was not really sure what to think. And then I feel like a whole new song started and it was all right. Drake's rapping was all right. It wasn't really great. The beat was all right. It wasn't really great. I would have to say this is a 2.5 out of 10. And this is ruined. This is, I have to go after. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty late for me. My, my parents were like, no. Yeah, but, um, Luke, Luke has a go. But but in general, what in are you general, thinking about the album? This is really, I think I'd give this album a 5, no, 4.5 out of 10. I mm. was not at all engaged with this album. None of the songs were great. And that's not at all what I expected with the Drake song. I'm not a huge fan of Drake, especially not now. But I did not expect it to be this bad. I did not expect it to be this bad. Yes, there were songs that I, two songs I liked, but it was just not grabbing. Me. Yeah, gotcha. I feel you. And, and I mean, who knows? Maybe the last two songs are just like really, really good. I don't know, but I get what you're saying. But um, thank you for joining us, Luke. Uh, me and Joseph, let's go to the last song or second to last song. From Florida with love, I swear. If this is some more freaking yogurt crap, I'm out. All right, so from Florida with love, I look. When I was listening to this song, I said to myself, "Sean, you need to try and love this song because I'm getting a flashback to when we're getting a bunch of hate about not liking KSI's song. I'm thinking people are just gonna say Sean's hating on Drake. Sean does not like Drake. <laughs> he does not understand the culture. He does not understand bad music. <laughs> um, I'm playing. We'll get to what I think about the album fully after the last song. But no, I I didn't like this. It was so freaking boring and maybe i'm missing something right because mm. i'm reading the comments on the video and people fire saying fire 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 and i'm like you know i i want to like it but i just don't i just don't i i thought yeah. the chorus was nah the beat was nah you know a song can be in quotes boring or so, uh you know not 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 boring but like it can be slow and vibey and be mm -hmm. lit but this doesn't wasn't it for me no nah, didn't yeah. like it what do you think joseph oh uh, i give this song a i i gotta say i think I've, i actually dislike this more than um 
than Payne. Uh, Dang. This, well, if you if you add Cardi, then no, Cardi. This is that's worse. But take away Cardi, I like this is worse than Payne. So Dang. this gets this gets no. This is unrated. Just Dang, bro, that's crazy. Dang. Um, it's just another one of those. I I hate saying it like it's just another one of those like vibey songs that you kind of just play. I'm not saying that in a bad way, but that's just kind of how, like, that's his vibe. That's just Drake's vibe. That's just how he just does it. And there's definitely been a lot more, like, slow songs like these than than usual, like, in a usual more Drake. Because usually it's more, like, hype, like Scorpion kind of was. So, I mean, there was a couple, there was a couple good lyrics, which I kind of like. You know, he kind of really, like, thinks and really, like, processes it, like, these lyrics when it comes to these, which is, which is kind of nice. It kind of gives it a little more edge to it than... A little like more than a, another vibe song uh one part i like was just moral of the story is the story finished us uh dang you know that's the less that's the lesson stuck so i i like that part that was a really good one um but yeah just another kind of just vibey song i didn't really get the the course when he kept on going like, like boot it up turn up i was like oh 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 yeah calm, you heard that calm, yeah plug what was yeah yeah fair enough yes yeah, so brofsky get out of here bro <laughs> yeah right really though yeah this wasn't really like a just kind of not i hate saying like just another song because you know every song is always kind of unique you know this has its own thing but like yeah not i'm just gonna one. give this one just a five out of ten you know it was it was solid you know some of the lyrics were there but yeah it was all right yeah. final song demons please please be good <laughs> it's got a it's got a couple interesting features i can't even say those names wasn't too bad i'm gonna be honest wasn't too bad I like the I like the, the kind of the chorus because kind of kind of how it flowed. Bobby Sosa viral movie. I I felt that that kind of just just kind of how it went. The beat was okay. Um, just everything was just kind of like okay with it. it wasn't too bad. The uh, bars were just good. You know, kind of just another like really fun song. You know, just get some of your homies into the studio and just you know just kind of have a blast. Kind of like with the with the D4L, but this was a kind of I would say kind of better than the D4L. Um, I like this one. I liked how uh, I think it was Five O said it. Uh, I killed the uh, but I ain't catching no karma. Like I like that. That's like okay. That was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. I, I messed with that. Um, what? But yeah, I yeah, it was just it was all right. It wasn't it wasn't it wasn't too bad. It was just okay. Um, Drake was all right. Drake was all right. So yeah, it was okay. It wasn't like amazing. <sighs> uh, six out of ten. Man, you are too nice. You are too nice. Yeah, I, I might be, bro. You, you're right. I might be too nice. Bro, the, I'm trying to give all these songs like the benefit of the doubt, but <laughs> no, you don't give them. The, you say it how it is. If it's trash, you let them. Nah, here's the deal. Right. Um. I do like the you chorus. Like I it. agree you with you. The chorus. You didn't like it, did you? Favo Sosa viral movie. I like that. Um. But like the verses were just no verse. Jake's verse was pretty cool, but the other people's verses I just didn't like. And I like some UK stuff, mm-hmm. but like JME, JME's fire. But this just and some of these lyrics, dude. I can't be asked with this crap. With this crap, bro. Mm-hmm. Oh. Dude, I'm how about Joseph? I'm depressed listening to this. <laughs> no, bro, no. Three oh, out of three out three out of t- five, four out of ten, bro. Look, but that gets me to my full album review. Um, here's the deal. Yeah, I said at the start. Yeah. I said at the start. Um, like, bro. Okay, so, like I said at the start. You know, this is not a Drake full album with um, you know, with the whole direction. I use the NF um. Example, perception, mansion, you know, all those different things. Uh, so, you know, yeah. Scorpion, uh, what a time to be alive with Drake. So, um, you know, if you're reading this, you're dead. Um, so, as far as if this was supposed to be a conscious project, bad. But, you know, I mean, I've dropped stuff before where it's not coherent. It's just a package of music. So, you know, as far yeah. as that goes, as far as cohesiveness goes, it's a 10 out of 10 because you can't. And a zero out of zero at the same time because you can't really rate that, right? Mm-hmm. Um, as far as bangers, pretty, li- you know, uh, as far as bangers goes, I'd say the first half of the album hits pretty hard. I'm not gonna lie. 
Um, Deep Pockets, I kind of liked. When to Say When, pretty good. Chicago Freestyle, pretty good. Not to You, um, I liked a decent amount. To See Slide, I liked a decent amount. Desires, liked even more. Time Flies, which... Which one was that? Oh, was Time Flies the one that was really... Hold on, let me... I'm sorry. Uh, um, yeah, Time Flies. Oh, it was okay. Right. Um, but then the, my favorite, which was Fire, was um, uh, Landed. Landed. Fire. Uh, D4L. Pretty good. Pain. Uh, no, not really. Losses. It, eh, not really. From Florida with love, no. Demons, no. War, no. Um, so, 1 out of 10, I give this an album. Or, I give this album... Uh, I give it a 5.5 5 to 6. Okay. But I'm sticking okay. around the 5. You know, it, 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 there are definitely 3 to 4 songs. I'm probably going to be playing a decent amount. And probably 1 or 2 that will go my playlist. So, that's pretty good for this being a demo project. If this really, truly is the B songs off of drake's upcoming album or in between the processes then this is really good you know but if if um if, if, if that's the fact but as far as it being an individual album not super impressed what do you think joseph and don't be nice be honest <laughs> you got it so yeah i'm definitely gonna agree with you this is like the whole like nf analogy this is not like something that we was supposed to be like really really good kind of just like it's like it's a the demo tapes so, yeah, there's a couple songs, like you said, like, that were okay. Desires and When to Say were really good. I like those. Those two are probably my two favorites. Um, I was looking at this at this perspective of lyrics mostly, and it delivered. I would say it would de definitely, even though for being, like, just kind of, like, just yeah. new songs and, like, kind of demo tapes, it, it definitely still delivered on lyrics. So I'm excited to see, you know, what Drake really is going to pull out and, and see if that's, that really bangs with, like, lyrics-wise. Went to say it was easy, easy money for for best lyrics. I would give it that that award goes to that one. I really like that one. But then kind of just all the stuff, so kind of just kind of blended, kind of at the end, just kind of like all the like the the vibe low key ones kind of just blended into my head together. Uh, the worst one, easy, is the one with the Playboy. I, I don't understand that. Don't understand that. I'm sorry to all your Playboy Cardi fans. I don't. Someone help me understand that because I don't get it at all. So, I mean, it wasn't too bad. I mean, this was, you know, this is kind of, you expect, like, those vibe songs from, like, a, a Drake album, but there was, like, a lot more in here. Um, Features-wise was was okay. Chris Brown, I think, could definitely have been used more. Future was good on Desires. Drake, uh, Young Thug, and Future, and he said, that was, that was all right, Cardi, ugh. And then the, the Demons one with the 5-0 and, and Sosa was, was not too bad either. So... I mean, it was good. It wasn't. It wasn't too bad at all. I don't. I didn't really. I didn't mind it that much. Um, this is. None of these songs were worthy enough to get on my playlist. Um, I'm kind of a critique when it comes to like what songs go on my on my playlist. Got to be like a ten out of ten. Nothing there. There was a there was a nine for when to say, but just kind of lyrics wise was really good. Beats was okay. You know, flow wise was okay. So, uh, solid all to, to kind of to wrap it all up. Um, just kind of how everything, I'm going to just say maybe 6.5. I'm going to give it a little higher just because, you know, lyrics really hit. Yeah, I, I got, yeah, yeah, that's true. I, I and, 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 you know, I definitely was feeling this album a little more uh, overall until the Cardi song. So I probably was a little biased towards the last song because I'm honestly kind of, I'm kind of mad. I kind of want to cuss. But anyways, if you guys want to watch a podcast where we don't cuss, stay tuned because our our Sunday podcast where we're talking about the, the downfall of Lil Uzi Vert. We'll also be talking about mumble rap versus lyrical rap and then the third topic yet to come up with. I'm thinking uh, maybe the downfall of Cardi. Anyways, boys, um, let us know what you think about this. Um, if you disagree with us, let us know. 100% if you agree with us, let us know. We'll see you guys later. Um, check out our little baby review. That was much better. Any final thoughts, Joseph? Um, no, I'm good, bro. I would just like to warmly thank you for just going through this hard experience with me. We'll see you guys <laughs> later. Make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. Goodbye.